Welcome back to Afternoon Express. So that Friday feeling is about to get even more delicious and sizzling, sizzling hot. We're about to make you a delicious ragu on Afternoon Express. Dinner sorted. But I'll tell you what, this is one of those recipes that you need the weekend for because it'll take slightly longer than usual to put together. But the flavors are something to behold. So sizzling is very, very important. I always say when it comes to meat, and the ton of vanilla flavor, the crust is a must. You know this by now, right? Crust is a must, exactly. sizzling is a mizzling. So I've got some beautiful beef, and yeah. I, what I'm, I'm using, bean that's specifically made for slow cooking. It's a type of parts of the meat, like close to the belly cut, the rib cuts, because you know that they, they're quite tense because the animal's walking around all day, and that just develops more flavor in the, in the muscle but it needs more cooking. And it has to have a bone. If you're trying to cook these long recipes, make sure there's a bone. Absolutely. That's where all the flavor lies. And little, lots of fat. I think lots of fat is a really good thing to have in these dishes. Exactly, because in this case, the fat is flavor. Yeah. So we're also hitting for... Fat is the flavor, and what's the other one? Sizzling is what? Fat is flavor and... There's another one you did just know. Crust is a must. Your crust is a oh, must. Oh, that one, there okay. Go, well so what I'm doing, what, what's very important is... Oh, sorry. We're approaching those cooler seasons now when yeah. slow-cooked dishes are going to be everywhere. So learning these skills now, you're going to be such a star come winter. Right. So got a very good sear on the beef, and you can see like that it's intensely brown. Yeah. That's exactly what you want. It's not dry. No, okay, not cool. at all. So all that, all that fat keeps the sort of flavors in the meat. Yeah, I've added a little bit of fat, just the smallest amount of fat to the pan. And the fat that you're seeing in there is actually the fat that's been rendered out oh, of yummy. the beef. That is amazing. Cool. So all that flavor's still in there. So let's go. So let's start off with the onions. Mm -hmm. Onions go in, because now we're going to start building on the flavor with our aromatics. Onions, garlic, celery. Dad, this will give the carrot a rough chop for me. It's going to get um, very long cooking, so don't worry about the, you can have, don't worry about keeping your vegetables too small. Keep it nice and chunky. Impressive we'll skills. Also nice little sizes that you can get a nice sense of them. Uh, also, by the way, if you are just tuning into the show and you're wondering what exactly a ragu is, we're making a delicious pasta sauce today mm -hmm. uh, on the show. And the idea behind a ragu is it's a style of cooking meat, and it's one of my grandfather's favorite ways of, of cooking uh, his pasta sauces because it's so full of flavors. Yeah. It's got a nice tomato base to it, usually, mm -hmm. like a really rich, dense tomato flavor with meat on the bone. It's our favorite thing in the world. That's Absolutely. What that meat on the bone is a must. So that you even get vegetable ragus, and that's here's the thing. That's why I say ragu is more a style of cooking than a specific yeah. dish. Slow. Slow and low. It's just, and, it, and like you said, always or most of the time it's tomato based. Okay. So the, the idea is that the longer this dish cooks, the more um, moisture evaporates out, it intensifies in flavor, it becomes oh, so delicious. Yummy, yummy. So yummy. in goes, these are so amazing because it comes in a little squeezy bottle. I mean, what do you do with the half used cans of tomato mm, mm. puree? Exactly, the yeah. paste. The paste, by the way, is just a very intense version of your of your other kinds of tomatoes. It's a, mm -hmm. I don't even know how they get it to that point. Is it like slow roasting, roasting, and roasting, and roasting? Very thing. slow roasting on low temperature, just like our dish. Okay, so you get the sort of pilati, which are the sort of whole peel tomatoes, and then that kind of reduces itself into this mm -hmm. kind of flavor. It does need to be cooked up for very long periods of time, so don't leave it like that, or else it's acidic, it's all heck. Exactly. So in goes, oh, I added some Worcester sauce in there. Okay. I forgot to tell you that. In goes some salt, and the salt also draws out the moisture in our vegetables. Yum. I love a lot of pepper in ragouts. Cool. This is something about the pepperiness that's in there, it just makes it so delicious. So in goes the pepper. And then water. You can use beef stock. You can use any other stock. But well, there's enough intense flavor in there already. Yeah, yeah. We've got that crust on the outside, and that's our intense beef flavor. And the bones, of course. So in goes the water. So is the water the sauce part? Well, the water is kind of the... The medium that carries okay. the flavor and the, and okay. of the dish. It's, it's almost like a, I don't, don't use excuse this terribly wrong, terribly wrong word to use in the kitchen, but it's not. A, it's like a dry sauce almost. It's all the flavors are in the meat and they're in the vegetables and exactly. that sort of things. It's and not it just a... transfers into through the water. Okay. So, well, you can either do this on the stove or you can pop it in the oven right now with a lid on. But literally right now what you're doing is you're gonna walk away, have a glass of wine or three, <laughs> take it easy, and about two and a half hours later. You're gonna oh, end really up with... You're gonna have a whole date before dinner. Exactly. But how amazing is that? You know, the neighbors up, go fetch the girl, go to watch a movie, <laughs> come back, and this will be ready. Exactly. So I want to show you how tender. Oh, look at this. That so is the bone brilliant. literally just pulls away. Yeah. It's so soft. It's Don't so you tender. Dare throw that in the bowl. I know. I know. That's why I kept it in the bowl. It's so good. Mm. Oh, all those flavors are brilliant. Wow. So, <laughs> Dad, mm. a new trick of mine that I love doing is I love seasoning my pasta before I add the sauce to it. Yeah. So the idea is that you finish your sauce maybe before Generally. you finish all your pasta, you end up with flavorless pasta, okay? That's not cool. Not a good idea. So mm. what I'm gonna ask you to do for me is, I've got some 
Parmesan, oh, Parmigiano Reggiano. Reggian, Reggiano. If you can just grate that over the pasta for me. Sure. That's a great task for me to do. <laughs> That's one I can actually do. Guys, I actually can't get over that meat. It is so yummy. I just want to eat it like that by itself. Listen, how do you prevent all these pastas from sticking together? A little bit of, of greatest... olive oil. Don't go crazy. Just a little bit. Okay. That's then... one of my greatest flaws, is whenever I cook pasta and it cooks quicker than my sauce is done, I always end up with dry, sticky pasta. Ah, oh, no, that's a disaster. Here we go. Some parsley. Is this enough? No. Just, keep enough. going. Keep going. It's fine. Oh, my word. And then a little bit of black pepper. And oh, very yummy. carefully, without like losing any of it, can you, you can even use these tongs. Just kind of just fluff it all together. Cool. This honestly looks like a pasta's dish in itself. But it doesn't really, need that much more. That actually is a dish in itself. Yeah. I just like the idea of intensifying the flavor by adding this extra parmesan through the pasta. Delicious. It's, it's so, so cool good. having you in the loft. I'm learning so mm. much. All date nights are like sorted. Every weekend dishes sorted. Slow dishes, quick dishes. I feel like I can never have an excuse to have a bad meal over. Exactly. Oh, talking about the, the good excuse to never have a bad meal, this, obviously, you know, like the thing about curries. Yeah. Make a curry now, two days later, it's going to taste the best. insane. Yeah. <laughs> Same with this dish. Okay, cool. So you yeah. can have this in your freezer, pop it in the oven, reheat it. Oh my goodness. Guys, Sauce goes this on. is literally heaven on a plate. Look can we just that. take, I feel we like we need a moment of silence just for this dish. I'm ready for the moment of silence. That is amazing, Clem. Drops tongs, drops everything. <laughs> Dinner is served on Afternoon Express. This is the perfect weekend dish. It's a perfect dish to really spoil your friends and your family. And if you want to get this delicious flavor in your mouth over this weekend, make sure you SMS the keyword PASTA to 33650. Remember, it will cost you 1.50 and those free SMSs don't apply. But what's 1.50 when you could have heaven on a plate? If you missed any of the steps and you've just tuned into the show, here's a quick recap on how to make your very own ragu.